Thailand's really taken the lead in Asia, putting in place the Personal Data Protection Act, which is really aligned to the GDPR. I've been fortunate enough to spend the last few days with my Thai colleagues, talking to a number of Thai-based organisations and holding an event to really get an understanding of the challenges Thai-based organisations are facing in light of this regulation. Well, as an organisation in Thailand, when you are embarking on your um, privacy journey, there are really a few key things to keep in mind. Firstly, achieving a 100% level of compliance by May 27 and 2020. It's a goal that's unlikely to be realistic, so follow instead a risk-based approach. With a risk-based approach, you will identify the areas where you are exposed to the higher privacy risk so that you can then focus the actions on those areas that require the most um, attention and action. Secondly, a key point is that many organizations perceive privacy as an obstacle towards customer experience. But on the other hand, you can actually turn privacy into an opportunity and into an advantage because you can actually use it in order to increase the, the level of trust that customers have um, into you. So in your data privacy um, program, um, please keep the customer in the center of what you are doing.